Oh, overnight, tomorrow I'll have blonde hair. Next day, I ordered from Amazon, like developer and hair dye. Two days later, I'm blonde. I'm a redhead. I want blue hair now. Y'all know what I'm saying? When I hypomanic, I am horny child. Woo! Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Papi Botka. If y'all do not know me, and for the ones that do know me, thank you guys for coming back again and I'll invite you to subscribe. Before starting this video, I want to give a disclaimer that the content of this video are my personal experiences and opinions only, and they should not be relied upon the diagnosing and or treatment of a mental health condition. So now let's get into the video. So on today's video, I want to talk about what hypomania feels. Okay, so if y'all do not know, I have been diagnosed with bipolar disorder type 2 for around 8 months already but I pro obviously I was suffering from it for like a few years so I want to make this video about what hypomania feels to me so when it comes to bipolar disorder 2 most of the time you tend to have larger depressive episodes and you don't suffer from mania like bipolar type 1 you suffer from something that is called hypomania that is something less you know it's less extreme but your depressive episodes can be more extreme compared to the bipolar disorder type 1 or even longer but at the end of the day when it comes to mental disorders everybody's different uh, and sadly we don't have much resources when it comes to it there's a little debate on it on what is the best treatment we are not there yet but there are ways that you can you know control the control the symptoms as you will say i'm going to talk about my experience pre seroquel and post seroquel so i've been on seroquel for eight eight months now since i have been diagnosed and of course the hypomania and depressive episodes are less frequent now and less stronger than when i was with, without any medication but i'm going to talk about seroquel and how it changed my life on another video on today's video we're going to be discussing hypomania so for example like me to some people that actually have bipolar type 2 it's hard for them to describe hypomania because generally it's way it lasts way less than the depressive episodes and since it's the opposite phase of the coin when it comes to depression a lot of people feel like this is where the depressive episodes finish and you feel good you feel happy you feel euphoric so since you feel so good after you know going through your depressive episode in my case um basically I didn't pay attention at the beginning much to my hypomanic episodes because it was the time where I felt invincible. I survived that because that's how I felt surviving that depressive episode when I wanted to, you know, many times. I survived that. So it, it boosts you. Plus, you get the hypomania. You feel invincible. You feel euphoric. You feel happy. And But honestly, in my case, I don't like the feeling when you feel hypomanic it's like i feel this energy inside of me it's like depression like you know when you feel depressed and you feel like somebody is on your chest i feel the same feeling it's a different feeling but it doesn't feel right okay i'm energetic i'm happy i want to do this i want to do that yada 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 but it doesn't feel right it it feels draining like i feel that the energy that i'm getting that i'm you know that i'm you know I'm getting out of my body it's draining myself it's draining myself and it doesn't just feel right for me even though I have energy for days child before I was taking medication child I could sleep three hours a day for like weeks three hours a day four hours a day I was going gym every day I was I was I was on you know I was doing everything I had to do uh, and I want to do many things. I want to go clubbing. I want to listen to music. I want to dance. I want to stay active. I didn't like staying laying down on bed. Like when y'all feel depressed. No, I didn't want to do that. I want to be out and about. I want to do what I want to do. And I want to do it now. Even though I didn't have the money. I didn't have the right energy. I didn't sleep well. It was not healthy at all. 
so one of the symptoms of hypomania is raising thoughts and this actually is variable from person to person why because we have different personalities we have different hobbies so if we are two different people we might not have the same type of racing thoughts for example in my case I want I wanted to talk a lot all day you know what I'm saying so what I so what I used to do I have so many ideas in my brain I used to create like stories and I used to talk alone like I make a story in my brain and I talk and I talk and I talk and I talk and I could go on for hours I can be talking to somebody in my brain and I keep talking and talking for hours I want to talk to people I want to talk you know I want to write a scenario on my brain so I just talk and talk and talk what I would have said this like you know what I'm saying this is in my case I write a lot I love writing so I write I write I write I want to draw but the issue is that when you're hypomanic you do feel that you can you are at the best of your game and that might not be you know the truth you feel like you're the best drawer you're the best singer you're the best dancer yada 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 but when you perform it you think you're doing good but then when you look back it was not that good and you wasted time on things you shouldn't be doing you think you want to do everything because you feel like you have you feel like your day this is how i would describe it i feel like my day had a hundred hours and everybody else's day lasted 24 hours so in my brain i felt i can do all of this when basically I was not unable to, I was unable to. So that that's one of the things that I noticed. Oh, I am having a hypomanic episode. Let's be realistic. I can do this right now. You know what I'm saying? Another thing that I will describe from my hypomanias is being impatient. I have, I want to do everything now at the same time. I want it now. Let's say I'm on my YouTube channel. I want the subscribers now. I want to make it now. Why I'm not getting it? And that's normal. Some people are impatient, but on hypomania, it's just like these traits that you may not have on your normal self, they come back at you. You want this now. You want it whatever or whenever you're going to get it. And sometimes it's extremely that affects you because you cannot get things like that that's not the true not everything has a process within your depression within your bipolar disorder everything has a process not everything will stay stable with you and that's not just realistic but I honestly feel, feel extremely impatient and generally I am I never get angry I'm never irritated I really can control this very well I don't like I'm not an angry person and I will never call myself that but when I'm hypomanic looking back I was getting my hypomanic and depressive episodes when I was with a partner before I'm gonna talk about that if I make a video about toxic relationship I was getting irritated by the little things like you talk you say something I don't wanna hear you do something I don't like it that way I will get angry like I will because I don't like fighting in a relationship I'm never like that but when I'm hypomanic child I can be fighting for days I can be screaming for days never physical but arguments are extremely draining to your mental health just as physical fight I will get irritated about everything I just want it my way and especially if y'all are bipolars and y'all are having a relationship you really need to disclose this to your partner you need really to disclose that I know bipolar disorder is not like personality disorder but if y'all have bipolar disorder I'm sure y'all feel the same way that I feel I do feel that I have three personalities my normal self trying to stay stable my depressive self and my hypomanic self there are two different people coming back to me I know it's not the same as having different personalities but if y'all know y'all will know this so y'all need to discuss this with your partner because if y'all get any hypomanic or depressive episode whether y'all are on medication or not because medication alone will not help y'all a hundred percent y'all need to disclose this one thing that I realize is that I feel everything looks prettier everything looks different when I hypomanic everything looks better let's say color I 
I know sometimes doctors describe it as color seem brighter, music sounding better, but honestly, yeah, everything sounds better. And that's one of the reasons why we make bad decisions on hypo hypomania attacks, because we feel alive. We are, you see the sky, you see the human beings, you're like how beautiful this life is. Everything seems enhanced. And I'm not saying life is not beautiful, but when I'm hypomanic, I can see the beauty of it all. And that's why I want to do many things. I am enjoying being alive. While when I'm depressed, I really don't want to be alive anymore. So it's the other extreme you enjoy being alive. Everything seems better or everything seems different. It's just like, it's just like different if y'all know what I'm saying. And I'm sure y'all understand what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I have always had a bright personality, but when I hypomanic, I go off. I want to show it off on my body. And let me tell you, it's not that I don't like crazy hairstyle or crazy looks, but without my many hypomanic episodes, I wouldn't have been able to rock four different hair colors long in Asia, okay? It's, I'm living in a conservative, Muslim country so I honestly would not have been able to do this without my hypomanic attacks when you feel hypomanic you want to change because you're, you're just going into your other self where you're 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 energetic you want to change you want to show it off and that's what I do when I'm energetic I want to show it off I want to show off I'm here and I'm here to stay I'm loud and I don't care I almost wanted to die last last month and now I'm here to stay. I want to show it off. I changed my hair colors from red to long to blonde to white to red to blue. Hypomanic episodes really affected the way I actually was dressing. And I'm saying that I wouldn't rock this on the regular, but as soon as I started taking my medication, I really didn't feel the need to change my looks anymore. Even though I want to grow my hair, I just don't think I will be able to rock it. And I would, don't mistake me, but I don't have that boost anymore to just go overnight. Tomorrow I'll have blonde hair. Next day I ordered from Amazon, like developer and hair dye. Two days later, I'm blonde. I'm a redhead. I want blue hair now. Y'all know what I'm saying? This gave me the boost that I needed. Even though this is my personality, hypomania will boost you. Things that might need more thought, no, you're like, even though you don't have the money because changing the hair, changing your looks is expensive. If y'all don't have a stable job, if y'all are students like me, it's expensive. So basically I didn't make the right decisions. I honestly couldn't afford buying all of that, but I did somehow I managed to go through it. But hypomania will bite you on the ass and this will go to another point, risks. When you're hypomanic, you get that boost. And sometimes, based on your personality and your situation, you will get boosts on things you shouldn't do. It can be party, it can be drinking, it can be, on my opinion, on my hypomanic episodes, I eat a lot, expensive food, and I buy a lot of clothes, I buy a lot of, because as I said, every hypomania boosts your personality, how you are differently. So I do like hair products. I, I do like skin products. I do like clothing. This is my personality. So I'm gonna spend a lot of money on these products and they're expensive. If y'all buy these products, y'all know buying a lot of these products are expensive. I spend a lot of money. And to the last point that I'm gonna say, when I hypomanic, I am horny child. Woo! I generally am horny, horny, horny. Like, I will have sex. I will have sex twice or three times a day. Like, I, I want that. I, it's not enough. It's not enough. And personally, I wouldn't call myself somebody with a high sex drive because I'm not. Um, but when I'm hypomanic child, I don't care who you, who, how you look like, I don't care what's your background, I don't care if I'm gonna go to a dangerous place to meet you, which you're taking risks, I'm horny, 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 I'm sociable, I wanna meet new people, I wanna, 
I wanna, you know, I wanna socialize, I wanna date people, I wanna have sex, 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 sex. My sex drive is extremely high and that's, that's basically the biggest change I see in me in my hypomania, is my sex drive. When I know my sex drive goes to the roof, that I wanna be having sex every day, two, four, three, four, five times a day, I know I'm hypomanic because I'm horny, I'm, I wanna be sociable, I wanna be out and just talk with strangers. Yo, let's get this done, let's do it. I was that and this is extremely dangerous and I'll go back to say hypomania is a boost that will make you do decisions that you wanna make on your normal self. And as a bipolar person, you need to be strong enough to know I'm hypomanic, you need to control yourself, you need to get medication. And let me tell you, medication alone will not help 100% with your bipolar disorder. You need to make life changes, you need to be organized, you need to stay healthy physically. The medication will make you extremely fat, I'll make a video about that, but you need to be aware of your surroundings. Just in depression, when you feel like the world is against you when you're hypomanic you feel like you can defeat the war alone so that's how I feel and that's my honest opinion and if you are bipolar dealing with hypomania or many or mania in hypomania I will totally recommend be careful start making decisions start surrounding yourself by people that know about your situation and so please hypomania I know bipolar disorder too y'all we think that hypomania is the small part, but it's, it can be as draining and dangerous as depression. We are not a stable human beings. There's not a cure for bipolar disorder as of now. We just have medication, therapy, and other types of treatments depends on your culture, where you're from, your experiences to help you being stable. But as of now, there's not a way to be 100% stable. Hypomania needs more conversation and thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate your view if you like this video and want to hear more about my bipolar disorder i will encourage you to subscribe i really appreciate you if you like this video like it comment and let's start a conversation how what hypomania feels like for you i would really like to hear it down in the comments and i'll see you in the next one bye